Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Scorpio, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, roles can be reversed. What that means is this could be something you're doing or going on around you. This could be something your person is doing, going on around them. Oh, this could be something that uh, a family member, friend, coworker, boss, neighbor is doing, you know, or going on around that situation, their situations. Um, it could be in your neighborhood, your town, your city, um, your immediate environment as well. Um, also something about weather could be affecting you as well. So keep that in mind. Um, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, my email is in the description box below. So, um, definitely check that out. I do give $10 off of first time clients who get their first reading with me. Um, what else? If there's going to be an extended version of this reading, that will be in the description box below, as well as the comment section below, um, as well as your next three months future predictions. Now we did um, just, we're about to be out of October. That is still included in that um, next three months future prediction, but you do have all of November and December in that one video for you, okay? So definitely check that out. All right, let's see what is going on. Now, I previously redid, I previously did this reading, but I forgot I didn't turn my microphone on, so the whole, it was no sound on it. So, um, I, and I had already deleted it when I realized that there was no sound because I had already uploaded it. I didn't, it wasn't public yet or anything. And I went back to, you know, double check it and I realized there was no sound on it. So, I'm redoing it. So, if there's something about, if I remember correctly, it was something about, um, somebody wanting to come back in. So I was coming back around to communicate or wanting to communicate with you, um, but but that's not happening or you're not you're not down with it or something or they didn't have the best of intentions or it's it's not for the right intentions. Some there's something like that, okay. So maybe maybe someone is coming back around. Maybe someone changed their mind. I don't know. Let's see what is going on for Scorpio in love and in life, please. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, with the King of Wands reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what in the fuck is this, what is going on for Scorpio, with the Queen of Pentacles in the upright, what's up with all these people, okay, what else please for Scorpio, and love and life, with the Six of Wands in the upright, Seven of Cups. So we got Virgo here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, King of Pentacles, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Six of Wands is Leo. Seven of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, let me fix this. I feel too claustrophobic. Um, Well, with the king of, okay, you could be dealing with two different people. You could have options, okay? Or if this is one person, it, okay, so you could have two different options and you realize, I just don't have good options in love right now, period. Period, I just do not have good options right now, right? But if that's not the case and this is one person, you got one arrogant, greedy, jealous, pretentious motherfucker around you. And you feel like you'll have more victory if you keep your options open. Open. A lot of people don't know too. The Seven of Cups is a card of debauchery. So I don't know what you're trying to do, Scorpio. I'm not trying to call you out on some shit, but we might be calling you out on some shit. Either you're letting go of two separate options and just going to keep your options open to some type of debauchery, and you feel like you'll have victory there, or you're letting go of a person who is absolutely fucking arrogant. Like, really fucking arrogant. And you feel like you'll have better better luck just keeping your options, options open to some type of debauchery. 
try, I don't know what you're trying to do. But you could also be confused about how to have victory too. Um, show me the King of Pentacles reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. You're rejecting this person. You're rejecting people. It does feel like somebody may want to come back around. You could have rejected this person from the past. Or there's somebody who comes back around from the past. I am picking up on the energy again. And I, you know, I had done that reading yesterday. It was supposed to be for today. But for whatever reason, like, I, I guess I forgot. I completely forgot to turn on my mic because it was like zero sound. I did like a whole ass reading and extended and everything. And it was just... No sound. So I had to delete it. Um, why is the King of Wands reverse? Yeah, Two of Swords reverse. So you're rejecting anybody and anything that's unsure and decisive. You're just reject. I feel like you're just rejecting people right now. Because it feels like you're just, you're confused about how to have victory here or about what you want. Or somebody, now this isn't you, this could be somebody else. Like, there's too many people here. There's three people here. There's a lot of rejection and there's a lot of indecisiveness. What is this Queen of Pentacles about? Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, you don't know who or what to give to, but you want things to be fair and balanced. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yeah, two sixes. You want things to be balanced. Yeah, three of Wands. You're waiting on some type of victory here. Six and three is nine. Nine of Wands. You are, you are guarded, though. But I feel like you need to be. I feel like you're... It's almost like you're blocking out anything that doesn't feel. Like if it gives you any whiff of any form of confusion, if it gives you a whiff of confusion, you're like, no, just no. Why is the Seven of Cups here? So we have two. Now we have another Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and with the Eight of Pentacles here. Now, we have two masculine energies and we have two feminine energies. What's up with all the people? It feels like here, like maybe you were, okay, here's the deal. You were as the queen of pentacles here. Giving, 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 right? And waiting for a victory to come in, feeling guarded, right? And then you're like, okay, well now what do I give to or how do I have victory here? And I feel like what your decision is going to be is just be the queen of swords. Be like, okay, I'll hear what you have to say, but don't, don't, let's not get shit twisted. Let's not be confused here. I will cut you. <laughs> you know, I will cut, I will sting you. I will cut it out. Right? You know, I feel like you're just going to start focusing on your work with this, with the queen of swords and the eight of pentacles here. You're just going to work on that. Because I just don't feel like I have, the only cups I have here are the, is the seven of cups. And that's about confusion and options and debauchery. And it doesn't really feel very viable here. There's a lot of rejection, a lot of indecision. Like, you, I feel like you realize you're just not going to water a dead plant. If it's not growing, if it doesn't benefit you, you're not giving to it. Which I'm not, I don't feel like that's a bad way to be, honestly. You also may may end up working with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong Gemini, strong Libra. You may end up working with that person if it's regarding work. The star here. There's a hope here. Yeah. There's being seen as well. What else, please? For Scorpio. The tower. So a revelation is coming. That's, that's your energy. Scorpio, Aries. What else? What's this tower about? The Empress here, Taurus Libra, and the Strength card, Leo Energy. A lot of majors there. Three majors back to back. You choose, okay. If you're choosing to work with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, a strong Libra here, and you're going to be creating something, okay, you're going to be creating something here. And that's going to come to light. That's going to shock the shit out of somebody or people. It's going to shock the shit out of people about who you're going to be working with. Could very well working with an Aries as well. Very strong Aries, Libra, or maybe a Taurus. But I get strong Libra or Aries. That's who you're going to be working with. And it's like, but you got to play your cards right. This is regarding work. 
I don't feel like I don't have love here, Scorpio. I really don't. I mean, because there's not a lot of options. There's not a lot of good options. No, you're like you were literally. Re you're not gonna give to. You're rejecting people who don't bring their A game. You're rejecting people who are indecisive about you. You're working on having a victory. You, I feel like someone's going to make a proposition to you about regarding work. An offer will be made regarding work or working with you in some form or fashion to create something. That will end up making you very happy, but you will have to be strategic. Do not show your whole hand. It's going to shock people that you get some type of deal. Yeah, so people are not going to be able to move on from how the fuck does Scorpio get this. And you're just blocking out haters. You're blocking out anything and everything that just literally doesn't doesn't deserve your time. The full card reverse. Yeah, you're not you're not moving forward in reckless ways. You're you're not you're not moving forward in, in like taking careless you know risk. You're you're actually taking very calculated risk. Like you're weighing out pros and cons. You're making it looks like and it feels like you're making better wiser decisions regarding especially regarding work and in your personal life like you're just you just don't have the time for the foolery you don't have time for the fuck the fuckery anymore you're not giving to it anymore you don't want to reconcile with someone they want to, they do want to come out of the cold. There's that energy I was telling you about. They want to offer wish fulfillment here with is somebody from your past six of cups that can't seem to get you out of their head, but they have not changed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, you release some things that are toxic. They still watch you. Yeah, they still watch you, but you just don't, mm -mm. you just don't have time for it. You got like, you're not dealing with people. Now, this could be friends. This could be lovers. This could be family. This could be coworkers. This could be anybody. You just don't have time for the bullshit anymore. You just, you're blocking it out. Straight up. It's a no for you. If it doesn't bring you peace, if it doesn't bring you money, if it doesn't bring you, you know, if it hinders you in any form or fashion or drains your energy any form or fashion, you really just do not have time for that. I also do feel like you're going to get some type of offer or I also feel like it could be two separate offers from two separate people. You're going to be given some type of offer to collaborate and work with two separate people. Both of them are very successful in their own right um, to create something. It, it, but either one, I feel like either one will make you happy. I don't feel like I don't feel like you're gonna get two offers romantically. I feel like this is pertaining to business or work related options. This is not advice or legal advice, but I do feel like you're going to get two options, maybe more with the seven of cups there. Um, you will be getting two or more offers. I get very strong two though. Um, to collaborate and or work with someone to birth something to create something rather that is I don't know a business idea a product a product line um, any something could be with uh, maybe even three offers could be with an Aries very strongly could be with a Libra Gemini maybe a Taurus um, or a Leo to really create something I feel like you're not going to say yes to either one of these offers at first. You're going to sit down and you're not going to take any careless, uncalculated, unweighed risk. You're going to sit there. You're going to like sit down and really do like the pros and cons list, right? About if I work with this person, the, what's the pros and cons? If I work with this person, what's the pros and cons? If I work with this person, what's the pros and cons? And each one, it feels like each one will have a different project. It's possible you might work with more than one person, though, too, at the same time. It just depends on timing, scheduling, demands of the project. But you are also being watched as well. You're, people are taking notice of you. 
And I feel like that might be pissing someone off as well. You're gonna. Have, I don't. I mean, I, I really don't feel like it's love offers. You could have your options open regarding love because it's just not really viable offers or that you haven't had maybe the best luck in relationship. Um, if that's not the case, then you, yeah, yeah, you're, it's not love. But see, the two of wands reverse and love is reversed. This isn't about love. This isn't about love. This is business. I'm going to get my money tarot out and see what this is about. Again, this is not career, legal, or financial advice, but let's take a look. What is this business propositions for Scorpio? It's, it has to do with projects or something, or creating something, making something, building something. Chariot reverse. One of them you're not going to take. You're going to turn turn away flat out. Chariot reverse could be done with a Cancer. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, you feel like whomever that person is is not viable. Tell me more about these offers or show me Scorpio and finances and business. Yeah, Knights of Pentacles. Yeah, something, maybe something is being, has been growing very slowly. But with the Tower Reverse, that's about to change, okay? Because you have the big money here. It's like you not dealing with this person over here any longer. Even though it may, it's going to kind of start off slow, but then it's going to like be like a snowball effect and it's going to bring in big money. But I do feel like there's projects. You do dodge a bullet here you, or you did, or you're about to dodge a bullet with somebody else. And you're not going to move forward with that person. Could be a, could be a cancer, could be a Taurus, a Virgo Capricorn there. But I feel like you will have other options though. What is this big money about? Show me this money. Yeah. Ace of cups. It's going to be a new offer here. It's going to be, it, this is like, in this particular deck, this is like, like millionaire type stat, status. Like a million dollar contract or, or something really huge. It's a, it's a, you dodging this situation over here, letting this situation go, even though it feels like right now things are kind of going slow, something's changing but because you let this go in the past, right? And it's bringing in this. Big, big, big offer with the Ace of Cups there. I don't feel like it's love, though. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you walked away from that in the past. And because of that, you walk, you, you bring in this. Yeah, you will pause to think about this, though. You will take a look at it. The Hangman can talk about gaining some form of enlightenment, like taking a pause. Like you're just not going to jump on the first thing that comes through, right? I think that's smart. Yeah, the Empress. Mm -hmm. You're about to be Empress status financially. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles here too as well. Like you're, yeah. I and mean, we're talking about big money. You're going to have more than one offer. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about this offer, Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, with the four of pentacles here. You're going to want to hold on to all the offers, and that's okay. I wouldn't take too, too, too long to decide. I would make a decision, but I wouldn't make a risky decision without sitting down and maybe really thinking about it and, like, doing pros and cons list here. You know, really, like, maybe have some, you know, business meetings, business proposals created. Really think about it because it's, it's something, I mean, I don't really see it going bad. You might choose more than one project to work on as well. Yeah. Ten of Cups in the reverse, though. It may drain you a little bit, though, with the Two of Cups, the contract. Meaning, like, it's going to... One of... Okay, it's like one contract is going to elevate you to Empress status and be le less taxing. But you will... it You will... There might be a little delay with it. Or you might have to really, really, really think about it. Because it might be intensive. The other one is also going to bring you into a lot of money, but maybe not to Empress status. Um, but it could also drain you, though, a little bit. It might be a little bit more taxing. Okay. 
you're really going to have to really sit down. And I feel like there's maybe one more offer. Tell me more. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah. You're really going to have to listen to your intuition. This could involve what you, you could, you could be a high priestess. You could be a tarot reader. You could be a psychic medium. You could be, you know, a spiritualist of some kind, but you're really, really, really going to have to, um, sit down and really think about this. Okay. Before you make any moves. It's going to be really imperative for you to really listen to your intuition, but really take a moment, think about it. People are starting to see you as a high priestess here. Yeah, hermit. I'm telling you, you're going to have to go within. The high priestess and the hermit card are very, very spiritual cards. So is the empress for me. Sometimes can be very spiritual. Yeah, yeah, two of swords in the reverse. You may be a little indecisive about what, which one to choose. I feel like you might, yeah, you you need to make a balanced decision with temperance here. You need to make a very balanced decision, though. Yeah, the will of fortune. You'll have good luck. It, it's going to come. Right? The lovers, it will involve a contract, too. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It'll bring you into really sound financial stability. I'm telling you, big money. We're talking about big money. Like stupid money. But also, if there's a contract involved of any kind, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you definitely have that looked at by an attorney. Do not just sign shit willy-nilly. Because you're excited. Chill. Temper. You know, calm down your emotions of excitement and just really have it reviewed. You don't want to sign up for something and it not be what, you know what I'm saying, what you actually want it to be. And then you're committed to it, you know. Contracts are a big deal. You don't, you know what I mean? Have an attorney look at it. Make sure you understand everything there is to know about whatever this proposition is. I do feel like it's business related. I, I don't feel like this is a love reading. Although I do feel like the reason why it's mostly business is because you just either you're with somebody and you're not looking at other options or you just realize that there's just no options worth a shit <laughs> and you're just focusing on your money. Let's see what the angels are protecting you and protecting you from and guiding you towards and then I'll get your zodiac signs and scribble tiles and then some guidance. I don't know if I should do an extended on this or not. No, I don't think I'm gonna do an extended. But we'll see what we'll see what this has to say first. What is Scorpio being protected from and guided towards? The Scorpio. So, the first one says the hanged man says the only God. And it says, desire, I'll show you. And it says, desire for knowledge protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. So, that's what you're being protected from. Um, you are being protected from anyone who would lie on you, um, lie to you, or lie about you, lie to others about you. Um, any type of evil, bad intention, evil spells, or bad spirits that people might send you or that might be attracted towards you. Then it says the Six of Pentacles, the favorable God. And it says divine grace cures rage and pestilence, um, abs absolves the guilty. So anything that you were being accused of um, by a liar um, is being resolved. Um, and then you have the Four of Wands. And it says God the Savior. And it says... Recyctification helps one live in peace with everyone. So you're you're really at peace with yourself right now, or you will be. Then you have the Ace of Cups. It says the God, the King of Heaven, and it says rejuvenation obtains the mercy of God and gives long life. So your you know your life is actually being protected as well. Your youthfulness is being protected. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles. It says the Honorable God, 
and it says inner and outer work helps one keep their job protects against disaster so you are you know you're being protected regarding your work or your work is being protected by the divine as well like that would be like anyone who would steal your work anyone who would try to um destroy your work anyone who would um you know that that kind of stuff Or like, I'm also getting like slander your name around work or something like that. So definitely being protected for sure from anything like that. And I feel like you're just blocking out a lot of shit. Like, I feel like you're just over it. You're just over the nonsense, the distractions, the, you know, you're just over it. Let me get any last messages. You're just over it. But you do have great offers coming in financially, though, business-wise. Love, if you're in a relationship, I see that going well for you. If you're single or you're you're fresh out of a relationship, you're just not focused on that anymore. Because <laughs> there's just not any good options right now. And you're okay with that. What else, please, for Scorpio? Yeah, you're just don't want you're just tired of people trying to use you. You're protecting yourself from like people who would use you. Still still from you, the Meister Thief. Yeah, they're being exposed to anyone who is a thief, like people who would steal from you. You're protecting yourself from thieves, like people who, again, would steal your work. You're being protected from that, or you're protecting yourself from that. Also, you're, you know, people who would steal your work in public, make it public, or steal your work and then use it for their own gain publicly. Something about that. Yeah. Somebody here literally has dug their own grave financially by stealing your work or copying it, stealing it, um, scamming it, you know, things like that. And I don't mean like they literally are going into a grave. No, like figuratively speaking. But they've done it in a, in a financial way. Or like people who would like slander you, whatever. They've kind of done that to themselves. Yep. They're getting karma. With the cross here, yep. And it's divinely, it's divinely guided to happen with the lilies here. Secrets are being revealed about this situation. Yep, somebody here was playing. Yeah, you're just basically saying to yourself, saying at your house, being to yourself, you're not really fucking with nobody like that, you know. Yeah, something is kind of growing kind of slow, but that's about to change because of the truth. Yeah, and then you get wish fulfillment here after that. Somebody who was lying to you and trying to block you is going to be exposed and they're going to really be big fucking mad about that. That's abusive person. They're really going to be big mad about that, but you're going to be able to fly away from the situation. But, yeah. All right. Let me get you some zodiac signs. Let's see. What zodiac signs are Scorpio dealing with, please? Zodiac signs are Scorpio is dealing with, please? Here we go. Aquarius. Now, these could be, you know, you could have in your chart. They could have in their chart. This could be someone... You're not fucking with you no more. You're not dealing with no more in love, business, or friends, or family, or whatever. Or this could be these new prospects coming in. Gemini. I don't really feel like it's love. I feel like it's business. Pisces. What else? Aries. You're there. Whomever these new prospects are, they are watching you, or they're watching your growth, or they're watching, I don't know, they're watching something, but they are watching. It could be like a boss watching you at, do really well at work or something. Sagittarius, a Libra, a Cancer, Leo at the bottom of the deck. So you do have people coming in that want to work with you. I get, for me, there's a Libra and Aries. I feel like the Libra and Aries are the ones who, and I feel like it's Leo, Libra, and Aries that want to work with you, right? And the other ones, maybe not so much. Other ones that could be love, friends, co workers, whatever, right? So, Scorpio, you could be doing with Leo, um, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra. We have all the air signs here. 
Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in your chart and or in theirs. Let me get you some Scrabble tiles. Let's see. What do you have for Scorpio? So this could be first, middle, last initial of um, your name, their name, uh, you know, or it can make words. Let's see. What do you have for Scorpio, please? Let me sort them out real quick. Not that many. I'm just trying to all. There we go. Not that many this time. I mean, a good bit, but not, not as much as I usually get, though. Okay, here we go. <laughs> T and the Z is here. That's funny. I don't know if you want to be on that. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know about that. Let's see. Here we go. First letter is T. Y. L. E. S. E. T. A. I. B. O. I. A. U. D. Z, W, M, and T. There's that. Now let me get you some guidance. Let's see. What about for guidance? Okay. Here we go. What guidance do you have for Scorpio, please? Guidance for Scorpio regarding this reading. Guidance, please. You have the Western Bluebird. Lend a helping hand and never forget that spring will return. I feel like you've got offers coming in. I'm telling you, you've got offers really coming in. What else for Scorpio? you got the lover, love, yeah, lovebirds. It says um, passionate declarations can lead to love. So maybe you do have love coming in, but... I feel like right, but not right away, you know? What else, please? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got the sun, sun bitrin. Outflank adversaries by keeping a low pro, profile unless threatened. And then you have Phoenix. There you are. Creative change realizes your dreams. I'm telling you, you're having a Phoenix moment here. And it has a keep your wins to yourself. Don't don't talk about your your successes or these offers when they come in. And I do feel like they're going to come in. Don't keep them quiet. You know until that contract is signed and it's a go. Whatever the project is finished and then it's about to go live. Like you know it's about to be you know mass produced or put out there. Whatever it is, right? Then, then you know, you and your partner or whatever the partners could could then make it known. But this is like your your rise to to Phoenix, the rising Phoenix. That's what you are. It looks good. I don't think this needs an extended on this one. Just keep a low profile because you do have enemies. Okay. They don't, they don't want you to have your Phoenix rising moment. They don't, they don't want you to become the Phoenix. So keep it kind of low on the, on the low. All right. All right, Scorpio, that has been your reading. I hope that helps you. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And um, as always, I love you. Bye.